Number 40. Methanol can be prepared from carbon monoxide and hydrogen at high temperature and pressure in the presence of a suitable catalyst. And then we have letter B. What will happen to the concentrations of H2CO and CH3OH at equilibrium if more H2 is added? Okay, so here we go, Le Chatelier's principle, right? They're asking for what's going to happen at equilibrium if we manipulate the balanced equation or the system, right? In this case, what are we specifically doing? We're adding more of H2. So this is a concentration type of question where we can use Le Chatelier's principle to know what's going to happen to the equilibrium if you increase amount, you know, an amount of something in the balanced equation. Now, since H2 is a gas, we follow Le, Le Chatelier's principle because remember, this would be in the equilibrium um, uh, the equilibrium constant expression, right? So let's just run through this. If you increase your amount, right? So in this case, I did increase the H2. So wherever the H2 is, I'm just going to put a little marker over here that I'm increasing this guy. So what does that mean? Well, you have way too much, right? There was a certain number that we had, but now all of a sudden I added more into the system. I have way too much of that. I don't want that much. I want to try to bring it back down. So what's going to happen to the equilibrium? Well, if you want to bring it back down, you need to shift to the opposite side. So wherever you increase your amount, you have way too much. That means, in this case, since this is a reactant, you want to go to the opposite side, right? If you go to the opposite side, your arrow should be going in the direction of the other side. So that that's basically what we have to know. So maybe I'll just draw a straight line. And there you go. Okay, so this is what's going to happen to the shift at equilibrium. I'm doing the forward reaction. So now I can kind of erase this because I have the, the, I basically have the answer here, right? And if you're shifting to the right, which is what's going on here, you're going the forward reaction, which means that anything that you're going towards will increase and anything that you are going away from will decrease. And that's how you get it back. You had way too much. And if you go to the reverse side, you will bring this back down. So everything comes back to equilibrium. So now we just have to find out, well, what are the concentrations going to, you know, happen? So H2, since we're going this way, it will decrease. What do you think for CO? And I put these in brackets. That means concentration, right? The concentration of CO will drop. And then the concentration of the CH3OH, since we're going to that side, that will increase. CH3OH. And there you go. That's all that this question was asking for. So there's going to be tons more questions with this. So just hang tight. Le Chatelier's principle could be a little bit uh, weird at times, but just know that basically what's going on is, after I basically finish this up, right? Basically Le Chatelier's principle is you're going to have to do something and then you have to fix it. So that's why if you added more of H2, you got to bring it back down. That's why it will decrease. All right? So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Um, if you want, please press the subscribe button. That will help us out. And I will see you all in uh, part C, actually. So hang on tight, all right? I'll see you in a few. Bye-bye.